know, much of the things. What I mean is, uh, suppose if you take right now, uh, some companies in US, they just go on and uh, keep on building their new products. There is a risk to them uh, because the product may, may be successful or may not be successful. However, they will be putting or uh, they will be investing a lot of money into uh, this particular thing. Versus in Indian IT, mainly uh, in my view, it's more of a we have low risk kind of thing where we not invest a lot of into products, but mainly uh, into the IT services where we would go and mess with the customers who had some brilliant plans. So here, what happens is for us uh, in Indian IT, there is a minimum guarantee that there is going to be revenue because we are not developing the new products uh, whatsoever. So the organization culture is important. Second one is organization structure, uh, whether it is a flat structure or you have a lot of hierarchies. Because what happens is in a flat structure, it's very easy for someone to uh, take a decision very immediately. Suppose if you identify this and then you go to your boss, uh, you should not say that I need to take another uh, 10 approvals to make sure that you go and do the right risk mitigation versus you would say that, uh, yeah, um, yes, I do appreciate and understand it's the right thing to do and then you just say, yeah, you go on and do it. Next one is communication, uh, how uh, well your, your organization can adapt to the uh, new things and then the new communication channels and then how well the communication flows across different stakeholders that is important. Trust and the risk, uh, yes, they are uh, hand in hand. Uh, sometimes they are, uh, they are, they are, they are, they uh, are, I would not say against each other, but uh, uh, trust and risk, they, it's, it's very difficult for someone to uh, go hand in hand. What I mean is, uh, let's say, uh, you, you can't blend a trust with a team member, uh, so which means that you are taking a risk which probably you do not know whether he or she is going to do it or not. So uh, that's about the trust. So these are, I believe, uh, key success factors, critical success factors for someone to really uh, make sure that they do the right risk management. Question number four for you. Uh, purchasing insurance is best considered an example of risk. So, uh, is, is it risk mitigation or transfer, acceptance or avoidance? So, you need to answer Q4, either A, B, C or D. Okay, next slide. 